Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to factorize this rather simple expression. Right, but the thing is, I managed to think of a very complicated way to do it. Right, so if you are someone who likes complication, you may enjoy this. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to need an equation that contains A and B as the root. Okay, so I'm going to come up with this equation, right? So let's call it fx. Okay, so fx is x squared minus a plus b times x plus a b. Okay, so the reason I'm using a quadratic is because there are two unknowns, right? a and b, so I'm going to use a quadratic, x squared, right? So actually the same could be applied to, uh, you know, three unknowns, right? Let's say you have a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed, then I, 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 you know, I guess you could probably use the same trick, but change this to x cubed, right? But... Well, this is just a square and b square, so I'm not I'm just going to use the quadratic. Okay, so why do I choose this form, right? So I, I chose this because you know for a quadratic equation, it is made up of the sum of roots and the product of roots, right? So x squared minus sum of roots plus the product of roots. Okay, so a quadratic equation is always made up of this, right? So the sum of roots and the product of roots. So if I need a and b to be the root of the equation, right, the sum of roots would be a plus b, right? And the product of roots would be a times b, right? So hence, right, this is the choice of equation that I made. Okay, so how is that going to help, all right? So notice that, you know, a and b are the roots, right? So if I substitute x equals to a into the equation, I'm going to get a squared minus a plus b times a plus a b, right? So if you work that out, you should get zero, right? So if you simplify that, you should get zero, okay? And then similarly, I'm going to sub x equals to b into the equation, okay? So you get b squared minus a plus b times b plus a b, right? And that should also give us zero, right? Because a and b are the roots, okay? Now, let's call this equation 1 and equation 2. Okay, so I'm going to add equation 1 and equation 2 together. All right, so let's see what's happening next. Okay, so if I add that together, I'm going to get a squared plus b squared. Okay, and then this plus this would be negative of a plus b times a plus b plus a b plus a b would give us 2 a b, right? And that is equals to 0. Okay, so let's manipulate this a little bit, right? So I'm going to get a squared plus b squared plus 2 a b equals to a plus b times a plus b, right? So it's a plus b squared. Okay. But this is still not the expression that we want, right? We wanted minus 2ab, not plus 2ab. So I can replace b with negative b, okay? And then we will get a squared. So negative b squared is still b squared, all right? So it doesn't change anything here, but this would be a negative 2ab, okay? And this would be a minus b squared. And hence, we have just factorized a squared plus b squared minus 2ab, right? In the most complicated way that I can think of. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.